So that was the shot number one. That hit the bird right just, just below the head in the neck. So it dispatched it very easily and quickly and humanely. Don't forget all these shots are on permission and they're in season. So I'm just retrieving this bird back now and then we'll move on to Happy 1st of October with my own design frame again. Unfortunately, this shot was just off screen. It was a nice little head shot, just sat into the right hand side of the hedge, and the other half couldn't get it on camera, she couldn't see it. It was a nice clean dispatch, and you can hear the whelp that it makes on connection. Investing some new microphones, so hopefully the sound will be a lot clearer. So we'll see how it goes, we'll have a little test of it. So I'm going to walk over and get the pheasants from out the van and hopefully you'll be able to hear me. This is a Rode wireless mic. That's it, grab that, tight. Good lad, come on. Remember me and you, besties? Yeah, you're going hunting with me. Put it on that logger over there. Yeah, so two of these are going to go into a pheasant stew. The other one I'm just going to bang in the freezer. Ball bearing in the head? Yeah. That would be this one. Should we show the camera? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
That was shot placement for you. Eight mil steel, straight up the side of the old Mui. Did you enjoy that shot? Are you going to taste good? Hey, look, come here close. Look at this, Randy, around the front. Here, look, stand there. Look at it. Look at that there. Oh, <laughs> kissy lips. Now. Oh, now. What? Hold it. No, I'm going to prepare it. Watch out the way that camera. There, at last. One went our way. Fingers in there. So you create that hole. <laughs> Creating nails. Pull that off. What you got to do is cut his wings off. That's no good. I just want to make a soup out of it. <laughs> Hold it out. Tight. Pull. Good lad. pheasants are in the pot. I'm just going to use an enamel tin pot what I've got. Once the meat is soft from the carcass then we'll strip the meat off and start making the stew so I'll leave that on there for a little while. I'll let you know how long it's on there for because I've not used this stove before so normally an hour or two inside. See how we get on. meat's more or less cooked now, that should just drop off the bone. But you want to keep that warm, do not get rid of that. Here. And you can either put the raw mints in with the pheasant at the same time, but I just like to fry mine up because I like to get little bits on there. So that's going to go in with the cooked pheasant. Obviously, you never put raw in with cooked, so the pheasant's cooked here ready. And then we'll whack that in. We've got two onions, a few potatoes, half a bag of potatoes. Five or six carrots, four or five big mushrooms, two two pepper, two salt, three oxo cubes or beef granules, a beef stock, some frozen peas, and a few, well, I don't know, probably three or four spoons of that in there. I'm gonna bang all that in there now.
three big spoons of that. Mix it with cold water. And then add it in there and stir it in. And some gravy granules. And then sprinkle, sprinkle roughly about a spoonful of that in. And I'll start to thicken that up a bit. Get the ready mix, just a bit of cold water. And then just lay them on top. Spread them out. And then, once you've got them bad boys in, cover it back over. Just leave it on the heat. See how the dumplings are all rised up on it? That's what we call a nice stick. What I'm going to do is take that in because we're feeding the family on it. So, at this time of the year, you've got wholesome, warm winter's food. Weather's just turning, obviously, it's October. Can't be here. Table's already set. Like I said, nice bit of crusty bread with it. This is my wife's recipe. I won't take credit for this one. I'll just prov I normally provide, I've cooked this one. I normally provide the pheasant, she does the rest. Look at that. Proper food, proper winter's food. Yeah. Alright, first pheasant stew of the year. It's a big favourite in our house. It's very good, I think I've matched you. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> My wife makes it absolute best. Without doubt, I've took it to catapult shoots. A lot of the boys that watch this that know me who's probably had it, we normally take a big pot of it to a catapult shoot and share it out between a few. So a lot of friends of mine would have had it and they'll know what I mean. They'll know the taste. Joe Harris, they serve, a load of the boys have already had it, Keith. But it's, um, I think I've matched you. It was handsome. It's handsome still. Test spelt. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering what's up with the faces, it's <laughs> close to Halloween, so they're practicing. <laughs> they're practicing. That's Good? Who makes the best stew, Mum or Dad? Dad. dad. You? <laughs> Who makes the best, Mum or Dad? Mum. Dad. Dad. Do you like pheasant? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. It tastes nice? Yeah. Keep them good and strong. This is pheasant, this. Mm -hmm. That's pheasant, what you've just eaten there, yeah. You skinned it with Dad, didn't you, this morning? And you made it, caught it. Pheasant. Pheasant, don't spill it. Eat it, try it. See, see how you have a mouthful. Look at that. He's a big lad here, my boy. He's going to be big and strong. Nice. On that note, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time in the next video. And uh, yeah, share it. Share it as far as you can. See, see if we can get the video to do well. What do you say?